very funny guy next. Let's welcome Alden Moody. Give it up for uh, Josh. So, yeah. My name's Alton, and I'm 12 years old, and I... Uh, And I got, I'm enjoying summer very much because I got a 96% on my math finals. Thank you, thank you. Come on, people, please. Thanks. Nice. And my dad was so proud. We practiced all week how to cheat off those Asian kids, and it worked. <laughs> so, unlike some of you, I like Obama. But I have to yell at him because he's testing the heck out of us. We test on social studies, math, science, language arts, writing, Spanish, social studies. I had to take that one twice. <laughs> but what's really important is I'd like to tell him, if you're gonna test me on math, Mr. President, I'm gonna test you because if you even had to subtract, you may not be in national debt. <laughs> and uh, if you're gonna test me on social studies twice, how would I test you? In fact, right here, I have a list in my pocket of Obama foreign policy failures. <laughs> Hopefully you know what that means, because I don't, and I think it's bad. <laughs> <sighs> I, read, I read these off, but I looked at it, and it's way too long. You only give me a couple of minutes up here. <laughs> On St. Patrick's Day, I ran into what I thought was a drunk leprechaun. He was green, hiding in stupid places, with a creepy smile on his face. And then I realized it was my Uncle Fred. <laughs> or maybe that was Obama, too. No, it really is my Uncle Fred. But he was a great alcoholic. When he ran over people with the car, he'd apologize, even if they were dead. Uh, when, he, when the officer was trying to arrest him, he'd never punch him. He'd knee him in the groin in the nicest way possible. But uh, when he uh, was getting into bar fights, he'd always be polite enough to lose. <laughs> but the best part was when he passed out, my brother would steal the money out of his wallet and we'd split 50-50. <laughs> I love my parents, though. And at my age, love equals stuff. <laughs> I told that one to my dad, and I felt bad. He, he was pretty upset, so I went up to him and said, do your apologetic look, and said, Dad, you know it's just a joke. I love you, you know it's just a joke, and I don't just believe he'll buy me things. And I hugged him. Guess what, it worked, I got an Xbox. <laughs> I do martial arts, and it's fun, because I can hit people with sticks, and not get arrested. <laughs> went to my instructor one day and asked them why they call martial arts an art. He said, uh, well, it's an art because it's disciplined, spiritual, and you get to hit people with sticks and not get arrested. <laughs> my mom, though, she is a very verbal driver. When she thinks she's getting cut off, she yells, jerk driver, and complains about being cut off. That's what I hear. Jerk drivers, they cut me. Jerk drivers, they cut me off. Idiot, you, how did you get your license? They cut me off. When we haven't even got out of the driveway yet. In fact, we're not even in the car, we're on the lawn. She's over there somewhere. Important safety tip, if you meet my mom, make sure after the show, make sure she leaves the parking lot before you do. Thank you, and goodbye, Stephanie. Thank you. Coming, up, coming up next is a really funny guy. He's been doing this for a couple of times, and his name is Michael Longfellow. <laughs> up next, uh, we have a very, very funny gentleman. His name is Chase Wild. Hello, buddy. How are you doing tonight? Good. Well, I'm sure you're all wondering how old I am. 
And if you're not, you should be ladies. <laughs> might, be getting, might be getting a little trouble tonight. <laughs> well, uh, I'm 17. I live in Gilbert. Gonna be a senior next year. Uh, you know what that means. I'm an outlaw. <laughs> exactly 300 days from tonight, I will be legal. Basically, all that means is my parents are going to make me pay for my own car insurance. <laughs> well, I do get to vote, and they say voting makes a difference. Well, I took statistics last year. It only makes a 0. 0.00000274% difference. So I guess it's a lot. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing something really crazy next year. I'm going to be going to Gilbert Community College. Not for the education, but for the abundance of hot Mormon chicks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> On the subject of school, I have a friend who's homeschooled. And he's rich. Like, three cars, multiple houses, and a jet kind of rich. And his dad has even more stuff than that. Anyway, we've been urging him to come to public school, you know, so he can see what the outside world's like, meet new friends, and yeah, so he can kick his butt. <laughs> I love animals. I hate those extreme animal lovers, though. You know, my mom has a dog, and I don't think she's reached that extreme animal lover stage yet. Well, maybe she has. I'll let you guys decide. Who has to do the dishes? Me. Who gets a custom-made bowl with the name on it? The dog. <laughs> Who has to do the laundry? Me. Who gets custom fitted sheets for their bed? The dog. <laughs> Who gets in trouble for sleeping in late? Me. And who gets in trouble for pooping in the house? Yeah, well, that's me too. <laughs> Uh, mom, I know you're out there tonight, um, so I just want to let you guys know, if you ever come across my mom and she invites you dinner to dinner at our house, just letting you know, the dog is better than you. <laughs> I love headphones. I love them so much, I have three different pairs of them. One of them is super huge, and they're for telling everyone know, hey, I'm a teenager, I don't want to talk to you. My next pair, there's... They're normal size, and uh, I use those for actually listening to music. <laughs> and my last pair are really small. They're like undetectable by the human eye. And I use those in class. <laughs> to cheat on the test. <laughs> I hate shopping. Every time I go into a store, the employees always follow me around like I'm a typical teenager. I'm gonna steal, which is ridiculous. It's my mom that steals. I'm the decoy. <laughs> I even go around in the store with a sock hat and sunglasses on, and I go, yo, 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 like I'm Jesse from Breaking Bad. <laughs> and they are all over me, man, I'm telling you. You know, the other day, my mom just lifted a 42-inch TV. <laughs> she carried it out in Spanx. <laughs> Thank you, you've been a wonderful audience. Woo! How's everybody doing tonight? Okay. All right, well, as he said, my name is Greg Moody, and besides being a stand-up comic here, I have a degree in counseling, so I'm an expert on marriage, because I have a degree and because I've been married three times. <laughs> I'm also an expert on divorce, because I have a degree and because I've been divorced three times. What I'm not an expert on is having any relationship last more than six months. But I was a really great counselor for people that had been married early, uh, under six months. If you were married seven months or more, I couldn't do anything for you except for help you with your divorce. <laughs> but it's good I have a degree in counseling because I can comfort myself because I have a degree and because I buy a lot of alcohol. <laughs> So being a counselor can be frustrating and depressing. One guy came to me and said, I can't stand my life. I'm completely miserable. I hate my wife. I hate being around her. I can't wait till we get divorced. And I said, well, 
why don't you bring her in for counseling? He said, oh, it's not that bad yet. I didn't know what kind of felony you would have to have before it would be bad enough for him to bring her to counseling. But uh, I've been uh, married three times and I've been divorced for the last 10 years. That's right, I was uh, married three times before the age of 19. Yeah, marriage seemed like another lifetime ago. It's kind of weird, I can't really remember uh, them very well. The last marriage was a while ago and she, it was really traumatic. She broke my heart, I can't even really, I blanked her name out. The one before that was a monster. I can't even bring her name to my lips. Yeah, the one before that was so long ago that uh, I can't remember because I'm old. <laughs> yeah, 29. <laughs> but after three marriages and three divorces and uh, listening to people argue with each other and a lot of bottles of Jack Daniels, I threw all that away and started teaching people karate. So even though I do that for a living now, people know that I have a degree in counseling, and so they still ask me about relationships and things like that, which, first of all, I wonder, with my track record, why would you ever ask me anything? <laughs> but it's okay now, because since I do martial arts, I just sign up for lessons and let them punch their frustrations out, which works really great for married couples, because you all know how to fight anyway. <laughs> and since I do martial arts for a living now, I started teaching my son martial arts, and when he was four, it was really cute. He learn new karate moves and he'd show them off and he'd tell you about protecting himself against bad guys and I think his first words were probably, hi -ya! Unfortunately, now he's 12 and he thinks he's a ninja assassin and he stalks me everywhere I go. <laughs> when I get home, he attacks me. When I'm sleeping, he attacks me. When I'm on the toilet, he attacks me. <laughs> I have no idea where or when I'm gonna get attacked. I don't even know if I'm going to live through the night. The only thing I can be sure of in that house is the homework will never be done, the dog will never be fed, and the underwear will be lying on the floor. And 12 is the age they start to argue with you about everything. Or is that just my kid? No, not, not just my kid. Yeah, well, he argues with me just to argue. If I say it's 9 a.m., he says, no, Dad, it's 9.02. If I say to somebody, he's 12 years old, he says, no dad, I'm 12 and three quarters. If I say black, he says, no dad, African American. <laughs> if I argued like that when I was a kid, my mom would have hit me or she would have told me to shut the hell up. But today, if you do that, you're a bad parent. So what I decided to do is, the next time he argues, I'm gonna charge him a dollar. And then double it and charge him two dollars, and keep doubling it, four and eight, and keep doubling it. I don't think that's really gonna stop the argument, but at least by the time he's 18, he'll have a pretty nice college fund. <laughs> or more likely, I'm gonna take the money and split to Mexico and leave him on his own. <laughs> yeah, and he can argue with his new boss at the Circle K. <laughs> yeah, and uh, at, at 12, you know, they teach him all kinds of stuff in school that I never learned. When I was 12, we didn't learn about sex education, but I had to sign a permission slip the other day for sex education at school. I don't know what they're teaching him. When I was young, we didn't learn anything about sex ed, at least until your second child. <laughs> okay, well that's my time. Thank you very much. Up next is the extremely funny. Give a big hand for Matt Martin.